Hi everyone, my name's Sophie Harris Greenslade and I'm a nail expert at The Illustrated Now. Here are my top five tips for if you struggle to paint your nails. So firstly, you want to make sure you're sitting comfortably and you want to have a flat, clean surface in front of you, which is at a good height for you. So I really like chest height because I can really uh, see what I'm doing and steady myself easily on the table. So you want to make sure you've got everything to hand, including your base coat, your colour, your top coat, your nail varnish remover, tidy up brush and some cotton pads. You don't want to be getting up midway because your nails will be wet and you've probably got to smudge them. I've chosen this lovely cobalt blue because bright is going to be really popular for spring summer. Tip two is don't overload your brush. So when applying your nail colour, you want to make sure you wipe off excess product from the brush into the bottle. So having less product on the brush means you're going to have more control. So tip three is apply the nail polish in three stripes. You want to apply thin, even coats of nail polish so that it dries evenly and gives good colour coverage. So apply the polish in one stroke down the nail from the cuticle to the tip and then two strokes either side. You want to leave a small gap around the cuticle and side walls to prevent flooding the cuticles and to stop your nail polish from lifting. Start just below the cuticle and push the product up towards the cuticle and then down in the centre of the nail. So then we want to curve round the cuticle and brush down on one side of the nail. It's really important to cap the free edge because that's where it chips the most. And you can do this by just running some polish along the nail tip and this is just going to seal it in and prevent it from chipping. So repeat the steps because you want to have two coats for good colour coverage and remember to cap the free edge both times. So tip number four is be patient when painting your non-dominant hand. Make sure you keep your non-dominant hand flat and steady on the table. So you want to take a towel to put under your wrist to elevate it a little higher for a bit more support. When painting your other hand, just make sure you're very steady and just don't rush. Be very patient. So it's important to move your hand so that you can see what you're doing at the sides. Tip number five is sort mistakes. If you do make a mistake, don't panic because you can always fix it. You can take a cuticle stick and if it has really gone into the cuticles, you can fix it by just removing it with the cuticle stick. You can also use a tidy up brush dipped in some nail polish remover to clean up any mistakes you've made. Make sure you wipe off excess nail polish onto a cotton pad because too much nail polish will spread out onto the nail and ruin your work. Once you've painted two layers, add a top coat to finish. If you really don't get on with painting your nails, then you can actually buy press-on nails. And what you want to do is attach them with some blue tack to a piece of paper. Make sure the nail is raised above the paper so that it doesn't stick when you're painting it. So when you've attached them to your paper, you can then apply any colour you like. So I've used Nailene nails, but you can use any other press-on nails. So when the nails are dry, you can take them off and stick them onto your nails with a nail glue and then you'll have perfect nails. So those are my top five tips if you struggle painting your nails.